Oh, wait, wait. How you doing? Good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off this interview. Just let let the viewers know name, school, age, class, some of the anything you want the viewers to know about you. Uh, name Fred Payne. Go to Lincoln Privatory in Louisiana. That's really pretty it. much it. How's your quarantine been? How how have how's your cha uh, training changed? Um, how it's, you been dealing with the pandemic? It's changed because I really can't get in the gym as often as I want to. Like I used to go in the gym like every day, every morning, night. Now I'm just it's on time. Like when they get to open the gym, I always try to get in there. Well, when did your love for basketball start, and how would you? How would you say your basketball journey is carried up to this point? Uh, my love, I think fifth grade, I knew I just, I knew I can do it then. That's why I really fell in love with basketball because as then I was really good. Then I just kept working, working, and just moved on from that point. Well, uh, what type of player would you describe yourself as on the court? A scoring guard, like. If you need a bucket, I'll score it. But I, I do know how to dish the ball, and I can shoot it. It's a lot of strengths. I know how to dribble it, handle it, play point guard, shooting guard. It's a lot of things I can do. Um, you're listed as the point guard. Uh, can you can you play off the ball? How how comfortable do you feel with the ball in your hands? I'm comfortable with the ball in my hands, yeah, because I'm a guard. But I can play off. This year, uh, as a freshman, I play off the ball. Because, like, we had a guard named Tristan, I think. Yeah, Tristan, he played guard, and then Chance played guard song. But sometimes they'll let me run guard. Like, we had a team full of guards, so we had to share the ball, and I basically played off the ball this year. How was it playing with a lot of older kids at such a such a young age? It was hard. I mean, I had to adjust to it because I'm coming off eighth grade at camps playing against, like, people my age. You know, and in high school, like, go to the goal, you might get bumped. You can't finish as easy as it is in my grade. What's one word or phrase you'd use to describe yourself as a player and basketball person? Bucket. Bucket? A bucket. What are some of your goals? Um, obviously, I've already played your freshman season. Uh, you got sophomore, junior, senior left. What are some individual goals you have over the next course of next three years and then some team goals that you'd like to accomplish? Uh, I would like to be an All-American. That's what I want to be. I want to be an All-American. Team goals, I want to uh, make it to the – last year we had lost in the championship game. I want to win the championship this year in top 28. So, yeah, that's basically the goals I set for myself. What are some individual goals that uh, you'd like to – amount of points you'd like to score, or do you really have any individual goals? I uh, I want to average. I averaged 18 last year. I basically want to average 25 this year. But if I can get more, I would average more though. Would you consider yourself the main scorer coming into next year? Yeah, I will be the main scorer next year because last year we had chance. He was the main scorer. Um, when did you get your first dunk? Uh, if so, was it in game? My first dunk was I think. Yeah, it was AAU. I had threw a lot to myself off the ground and dunked it with one hand. But uh, my first in-game dunk was high school this year. We played – I forgot the team name. We Kyle, we played, though, but I had dunked on a fast break. How was that whole experience, throwing down your first dunk in-game? Oh, my God. Like, I just feel good. Like, I, they had it on recording and everything. I had watching them thinking, like, dang, I really just dunked. It was crazy. How do you feel you blended with your team? Was you guys were you guys chemistry good? Oh yeah, we had a good team this year. We had a nice team. Uh how tall are you currently? Six one right now. What accomplishment are you most proud of up to this point in your basketball career? It can be from your prior season or all the way down to as soon as you started playing basketball? Uh making it to MHTV count because I used to always watch that camp on YouTube and everything. Like, I was always the kid that said, I want to go to that camp. I want to go to that camp. I want to go to that camp. And basically, I had went this year and did it did myself. That, did that really show you can compete at a higher level? Or how did that, that handle your confidence? 
it showed like I'm really, I really can compete with one of the top guards. So it showed a lot. It's coming into the account unranked and all that. It, then rankings came out, had top guard. So it really showed that I can be a top guard. How do you feel about the 2023 rankings being released on ESPN? I, I know a lot of people are pulled different ways. Some people agree, some people disagree. How are, how are your opinions on it? And how much has that motivated you to move yourself up on that uh, that poll? Uh, it's, it's all right, but my spot, I always try to go for number one. Like, I never want second, third. That's cool, but I always talk to – if you can get number one spot, work hard to get number one. So, yeah, that's my goal. Who's the hardest player you've ever had to guard? I think. And it will go along with that. This is the best player I've ever played, if, it's not, if not the same player. Best player I ever guard was Robert Dillingham. You know who that is, huh? Yeah, yeah. Robert, yeah. He's shifty with the ball. He's nice, yeah. He cold. He the, best, he the best player you ever played against, probably? I played with Mikey Williams, but, yeah, that's probably that's probably the best player I've ever played against. Um, going into your goals over the next course of a few years, um, obviously you picked up two offers up to this point. Um, what is your dream college, and where do you see yourself um, hopefully landing? Um, my dream, I mean, obviously, it's very early to tell, but what would you say your dream college is? My dream college is Memphis. That's the dream college I want to go to. Like, that's the goal that I'm reaching is to get a Memphis offer. That's uh. What two schools do you uh, have offers from right now? Uh, the University of New Orleans and Grambling, right around the corner. When did you pick those up? I think it was – I was supposed to have New Orleans on Christmas, but they never told me that. So I think Grambling had offered me one, and I thought that was my first offer. So the next day they had told New Orleans offered me before Grambling. So it was like a couple – like a month, couple of days after Christmas. Congratulations on those offers. Um, what's your favorite thing about basketball? Like it just, you meet a lot of a lot of different people during basketball. It's like the game just is make you a better man in life. It helps you more. It make you smarter on the court. A lot of things. A lot of things I love about basketball. How often do you train? Quarantine hit, I re I go outside and work out by myself, like, every morning at 6.30. And I go back out there at, like, 12. Then I go to the court and get some runs in, come back home. Because gyms ain't open down here right now. But if the gym will open, I get in there every day. Um, what's your favorite pregame meal or go-to snack? Uh, I had to change it up. My – my pregame meal, I use I would eat some pizza probably, but before games this year, I'll be eating Starburst before every game this year. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh, who's who's another hooper in your class you're very close with or have a good relationship with, or maybe help you play with eventually at some point someday? Uh, what's what's his name? Tyler. Tyler, he from New Orleans. He, he, yeah, it's Tyler. Probably Tyler. Because we playing with each other this year. Uh, uh, Leo Elite, so yeah. Probably Tyler this year. What NBA player would you compare your game to or I guess idolize the most? I kind of play like Paul George, kind of like. I probably play like Paul George. That's probably who I want in my game. Out there, like, yeah. What's your favorite, who's your favorite NBA team? The Rockets. Rockets. Yeah. Who do you think is winning the chip this year? I got to go with my favorite team, the Rockets, first. But to be honest, I think it's going to be the Lakers this year. Because Brian, starting five is just different. This side, the starting five is just different. What's your favorite uh, shoe brand to wear? Jordans. I love Jordans. I like. I got. See, I got Jordans up on the wall. I, I just love. They all across my wall. They all in my uh, closet. I just love Jordans. It gotta be Jordans. What's your biggest interest outside of basketball that maybe people don't know about? Uh, 
I really, I really don't know. I always been basketball. I always been basketball. Um, we'll finish up here with the last few questions. Um, so obviously you're heading into your sophomore season or whatever. Um, um, who who's your biggest game this year? Or if obviously we play, who what game are you looking most forward to? What's a What's a moment this, this upcoming season that you're looking forward to playing or excited for? Okay, it's a rivalry game. Like, you always play them, and it's always the gym just packed. It's different. Like, if you make a shot, you're going to feel way better. Get caught, you're going to know you get caught. It's like, it's a rivalry game. It's arcade uh, this year. Going off that, what was your what was your most hype or exciting game last year? It was the... Not the championship game, but the game before the championship, we had won. We were going Nick and Nick. I forgot the team was called. We were going Nick and Nick. Won, and then we had got up on the scoreboard. So then we had took off. So, yeah, it was a side of time. Um, what's your highest scoring game of all time? Either AAU, school, anything? I think 30, I think. Yeah, it was 30 ball. 30? Um, obviously, uh, um, where you're heading into your sophomore season, like I said, you have your junior season, senior season left, or whatever. Um, what what are one what are some camp you're looking forward to possibly getting into these next two years? I know you mentioned uh, the All American game or whatever. Um, USA camp, anything else you're you're really shooting for? Man goes All American. I went the the uh to the the junior high. What is it called? The junior All American camp, but I want to yeah. go. The top of the top, like the Pringles All American. The uh, it's another count called Elite One Hundred and Fifty. You know what that is? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Through Under Armour. What'd you say? I believe it's through Under Armour. Nah, I'm uh with Nike this year. Oh, it is Nike this year. Nike. We'll finish up here with one last question. What's some advice you'd give to a younger Hooper, a younger yourself, or anyone that obviously looks up to you? I just stay grinding. Like, if you dedicated to what you're doing, stay grinding. Don't never give up. Everybody gonna tell you you're not good. They gonna doubt you. When they start hating, that's when you know you're doing something good. Like, it's like when people start hating. That's how I knew I was doing the right thing. Cause my mama used to always tell me, "Don't worry about it." My daddy used to say, "Calm down." You got. I used to get frustrated by people always saying, "Oh, he's not good. He's not gonna be good. He's not gonna be ranked. He's not gonna be good when he get out." I used to always be frustrated about that. As my mama had talked to me, I had settled down and had to think about it. Yeah, they is hating. So, as a kid, I would tell them, stay grinding, put in work every day. It's going to pay off. I promise you it is. Because, like, when I was in the gym, I used to work every day. and used to think, bro, I'm not getting nowhere. Like, I always want to be like, I'm not nothing. But as it is, it pays off. Work, grind, gym, gym, gym. Make sure you stay in your books, get school right. Everything will come in here. We'll, we'll, we'll finish up with actually one more additional question here. What's your ultimate long-term goal? I always say to be the legend of Louisiana. Like, the city I am, I want to be the legend of it. I want to be a legend. That's all. We really appreciate your time, Fred. And we're looking forward to see what you do over the next, next few years. And then, obviously, into college and hopefully the professional level. Yes, sir. All right, bro.